This is car destruction created in Houdini 21 using RBD car fracture. This is a new feature and we're gonna see it in this video. Hi everyone, this is Dyson. Welcome back. So without further ado, let's go to it. As you can see, we have this car and we have this RBD car rig that's uh, introduced, I think, in 20.5. And as you can see, you can select your, your wheels and you can have this rig very so easy setup. Thank you, side effects for that, to be honest. And as you can see, after that, if, if I uh, connect this RBD bullet solver and maybe, yeah, let me bring it up. I want to see the suspension i love this stuff in uh, rbd car and yeah with the ground and let's play you see we don't we don't have any suspension stiffness we have that but not uh, so obvious so we we have this setting we can tweak it and boom you see wow i love this bounciness and you see very good just with few click you can have something like that with rbd Rig car and uh, instead of of course uh, ground you can use height field let's bring it down and yeah let's make it more resolution and let's create noise for this height field and yeah this is so crazy let's make it that maybe this and yeah now we have our height field you see I want to interact this height field with our uh, car rig using rbd bullet solver and maybe that i'm not going to use bumpy height field so i will uh, connect that to the high field instead of that and as you can see if i play and as you can see now if i play because we have this speed and we have uh, the setting of uh, the wheels and we can have something like that you see very <laughs> cool and realistic simulation honestly so we have that you see we have this simulation with just few click and this is cool now what we have new in houdini 21 first it's about these tires or these wheels uh, deformation as you can see let's create rbd yeah deform rbd car deform and i can connect this to this and this one to the yeah to this simulation and this one to the uh, this rbd rig and as you can see i can select let me show you you see we have already deformation that's very cool and convenient you see you can have something like that for your car <laughs> yes i had uh, working on that in very well to be honest and this is very cool and yeah it's very noticeable to be honest and for sure this is not only for tires on wheels you can uh, deform the suspension too you see we have this suspension and we have this uh, offset and you can play with it and see the result so the next one is rbd fracture car something like that let me create one let's go with rbd fracture and as you can see it will go between the solver and after the rbd rig car and as you can see we have a bunch of things here as you can see you can uh, uh, have your name layer as a glass for example and select your glass and it will create a glass for example here and you can manipulate uh, parameters for having your glass for noi in here and you can create another for example layer and of course you have your constraint too for example this one will go with yeah body yeah let's select that and we can have something like that as a metal and this metal it's deforming or not it's, uh, creating a switch constraint for soft constraint and maybe let me yeah 
maybe yeah let's make it like that and to have a crazy car accident yeah car falling from the sky and yeah let's play and let's see what we have yeah <laughs> we have something but yeah not that good in my opinion so let me clean this car uh, first I have that yeah let's delete this part the interior part because it's causing a many problem just for this demonstration yeah let's now see what we got for example yeah let's disable this collision and yeah it's better but we have this uh, glass fracture as you can see it's breaking on the impact and now you can change this fracture density to have more fracture of course you see in body and you can change the sheet and solid and you see this is the solid yeah solid option for this metal you can of course uh, change the strength of the constraint in here and you can have different result as you can see but you see this is fracturing but we need deforming one let's change that to sheet you see it's better with metal sheet but you can go the solid and this deforming plastic and now if i play let's calculate that now if i play let's see the result you see it's better now I need more weight to feel more heavy. The first one is to increase the world scale in bullet solver. As you can see, this is with 10. Let's go with 50, for example. Uh, and let's see what we got. Yeah, this is the 50 scale. And you see, we have more heaviness, you can say. And this is one option. Another option, you can go with RBD car rig and in yeah we can reset this speed i think that was causing a problem for us but yeah having said that we have a rbd body scale or uh, this option as you can see where is it rbd body scale you see in that you can increase it and you can have more weight car you see this crash is different now and with that i think we can reset our wor world and scale. now let's go to this fracture and because we learn a lot we can go with sheet here and we can increase yeah let's go with uh, sheet in here too and we can increase the fracture density and let's play yeah that's very cool to for body and glass and yeah this is all parameter you can of course tweak it and have a different result so let's say you have your simulation you see you have this simulation how we can transfer transfer this result to original uh, car of course we can use uh, rbd deform pieces and we're going to connect it to original one and we're going to connect this to constraint and that for this uh, result and if i delete yeah unnecessary one yeah that and i want to just create this deforming only for the body uh, because the glass is fracturing so i want to deform pieces and you see this is for body and yeah that's cool and let's create another delete for this simulation and i want to isolate the body because we already transferred that let's unpack it to have original one and let's go with that and you see we have the pieces and we can merge it with that deforming one you see now we have that so <laughs> this is very cool this is our original one and yeah maybe let's make the glass yeah fracture more let's see now yeah 
it's better now so this is our glass and this is our body deforming but now i have problem with these tires you see it's hanging that's very bad so let's disable this car fracture you see it's not from that let's see here maybe let's select one of them as a, a car setup and let's see if that will solve the problem and boom yeah it's solving the problem it's sticking yeah and with this a uh, cheap solution of course you can have something like that and uh, solve this problem so what if i want another car accident or two car hitting each other of course you can pack the first one and unpack the second one and we can create another transfer node and merge this together for example let me change this one like that yeah this is the rough idea you see we don't have anything and we have a lot of bug so what if i want to duplicate all the setup you see from rbd car etc and fracture and rbd pack you see i'm going to select that quickly and now what if i uh, merge that you see we have the same problem the problem not from that the problem is from the name attribute so how we can have you see we have the same name attribute how we can have individual name attribute you see we need to select that and boom we have that so with that i hope you enjoyed this one see you in the next one goodbye